Welcome back. And I'm very glad to be back. I was interrupted in this series because of family matters that required my personal attention down in Georgia. So I'm now back and I'll get back to uh, what we're doing. So where were we? In the last episode, we had resized each of these 20 270 Winchester cases. That's the first step anytime you get new brass or anytime the brass has been fired. And I described the differences between full length sizing and neck sizing only, and even discussed the differences between the different types of neck sizing operations. So you saw how that went. That's all standard. All brass needs to go through that. There's one particular step that you don't, t you don't hear too much about. Now, very often you'll hear people talk about, you know, cleaning primer pockets and things like that, whether you use, you know, one of these little twirl -it things here and, uh, you know, by hand just scrub out the primer pockets or whether you uh, put them in your tumbler and do it without the, without the uh, spent primer. That's the, wrong, that's the wrong side of the flash hole. You know, I did a lot of, I did a lot of very, very in-depth study years ago trying to determine if there was any need to, whether there was any usefulness in cleaning primer pockets. You know, I did all kinds of accuracy testing with very dirty primer pockets and ones that were sparkling clean. There was absolutely no difference in the accuracy. Uh, and that's, that owes to a very, very simple, a very simple fact. The anvil is basically, it's shaped like an inverted, inverted letter A. And it sits at the base of that primer pocket. When you depress that primer and seat it into the primer pocket, you're actually, you're actually crushing those seats to fit down onto brass. They're not standing up on top of any kind of dirt or, or carbon. That flash hole has already been cleaned out by your, by your decapping pin. The interaction that causes the flash is between the anvil and the cup, which is, which is much, it's, it, it's almost an eighth of an inch above the primer pocket. So that's not the, that's not the side that is the working side. What you really want to pay attention to if you want to have consistent ammo is uniforming the inside of the flash hole. Now, this is a relatively inexpensive tool. I've had this probably for 40 years or more. This is a, a Lyman, uh, this is a Lyman flash hole uniformer is what it's called. Um, I've had a couple of these through the years. I think this is a replacement. I gave the other one away. So this has got a, this has got a little bit newer box, but um, this, this tool right here is only used once in the uh, operation. Uh, when you have brand new cases or previously fired cases, you only do this once. Once, you, once you've removed the burr that occurs on the inside of this uh, primer flash hole, uh, you've, you've done the job and it's done forever. You know, that, that burr occurs during the, during the processing of the brass and that flash hole is struck uh, and it causes, it causes basically a burr to occur on the bottom side of that, uh, with the inside of the, the case chamber. So that burr can occur like a, the, you know, the, a flip top of a uh, tin can. It can be like a, it could be like a, uh, you know, king's crown with, you know, many sharp ridges that, that rise above. Uh, and it, or it could also be uh, simply a distortion where the, the brass itself is, you know, got fingers and uh, it, causes, it, it causes the flash to uh, be irregular inside the case. You want to have, you know, for good ignition, for consistent ignition, you want the flash to uh, always radiate uh, at the same, at the same uh, degree from one case to another. As I mentioned in my uh, video on dealing with primers, what you don't want to do is you do not want to bevel the inside of that flash hole. You want to maintain a straight pipe there. Beveling it will simply weaken, it will shorten the length of that flash hole and uh, will, you know, can cause excessive pressure on that primer during firing. So our goal is not to bevel it. Now, 
The way this works is quite simple. First of all, you, ha you have to be sure we're, we're going to take you over to the bench and we're going to go through the process of uh, getting all your cases to uniform length because this, this tool requires that each of the cases have exactly the same length. So I'm just going to take my Allen wrench. You can see right here. I'm going to take this Allen wrench. I'm going to loosen up this, this cone-shaped collar right here. And this, this adjusts to the length of your cases. A 270's over the 270 case is 2.540 is the maximum length from one end to the other. Now the trim length is typically, traditionally, it's ten thousandths of an inch less. Why ten thousandths? Simply because it gives you it gives you two or three firings between trimming, so you don't have to trim every single time. And that depends a lot on the taper of the case. Cases with less taper uh, tend to stretch less. Uh, they will, they'll all stretch. Uh, all bottleneck cases will stretch, but they'll stretch uh, less, less frequently uh, and, and I should say uh, less at a time if they're more straight-walled. Straight um, the 270 case is a traditional taper, you know, to ensure uh, rapid cycling through the action without getting a case uh, stuck. Uh, for military use, but uh, so it, it stretches probably about you know with normal firings it's about uh, three it's about three shots between uh, between trimmings, but I trim this particular case to uh, two point five three zero, which is ten thousand is less than the nominal length. So all you do, and it's very important to after you trim it, make sure we'll, we'll show you that process. But after you trim it, make sure that you slightly chamfer the inside and don't. Don't make a sharp bevel. You don't, the point is simply to remove the burr. Insert that, insert that tool down inside and just simply, when it's all the way down, tighten that, tighten that collar. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm just going to do it uh, by feel here. I can see all right. I got good lighting here. So it's a good small. Allen wrench. I'm just going to tighten that collar so that the spacing now is provided by that collar. It can't go any deeper than that. Now I just turned that and I could feel, I could feel a, a small burr scrub away. And that's what I'm going to do now with each of the cases. But we, before we can do that, we've got to make sure that each of the cases is exactly the same length. 2.530 in this particular case. So let's get that done. So through the years, I've used quite a number of different trimming gadgets. This one here by Lee works terrific for uh, trimming. Uh, I find it sometimes a little bit, a little bit uh, cumbersome to use with with that chuck, uh, but this is terrific for you know maybe uh, shining up brass or uh, doing the uh, chamfering operation on uh, a lot of uh, cases. But uh, by far. The most important tool that I have on the bench, besides my press, is this one right here. And this is a Forster trimmer. Now there's a lot of good trimmers out there, but the thing that makes this one sets this one apart from all that all the others is the fact that I can do outside neck turning with this particular with this particular tool which is, to my knowledge, not something that's available on many other trimmers. It also, rather than requiring different uh, case head uh, you know, attachments, this one here uses a standard brown and sharp style collet. I'll show you what it looks like. The old brown and sharp style collet works for many things, including that uh, as, as you saw the uh, Lee uh, collet die, but this one here again has four fingers and uh, it accommodates different size cases, different size rims, and uh, if you get if you get the standard, I think this is a number two, I'm not sure, this is, oh this is a number one, it's marked, it's marked right here, but uh, if you get the standard number one which comes equipped with uh, all these uh, trimmers to begin with, this one here will 
I've never used, I've never had to use any other different uh, collet. So this one here will accommodate all your 3006, 308, 270, anything with that particular Mauser, uh, 7 millimeter Mauser, 8 millimeter Mauser head, and that's going to accommodate that. And all your Magnum cases will be accommodated by the larger step up, 22 Hornet, all of them will fit into this particular collet. So that there is held in place. The, the case is held in place by that. And on this end here, this is the business end, the cutting end. See if I can get this thing to focus here. Um, is that focused? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, this here has a pilot. There's two, different, there's two different types of pilots. You have a standard pilot, which is used for trimming, which is a shorter one. And you also have, oh, here it is right here. You have a longer style pilot, which is used for uh, inside, I should say outside neck turning. This one here is a pilot which supports the entire inside of the case neck. We'll talk about that in a separate video uh, that, that we uh, do, we'll do shortly. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to trim the end of all these cases to match the, the length of this one. This one here is the appropriate 2.530 length measurement. So we're going to replicate that with all of them. And what I did was this collar right here is set for the length of that particular case. So once I achieve, once I achieve the length that I want, the overall length that I want for that case, I just simply bring this collar up to the uh, up to this base here and uh, secure the secure the uh, Allen wrench, the uh, Allen screw, and we're good to go. All the others will be identical. So let's get that done. And by the way, you can get this you can get this in a version which could be mounted in a, a drill press, and you can really move along. It basically mounts this in a vertical position with a with a round base, and uh, it's got a handle on the side that. Uh, you can very easily actually this 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 part here is mounted in your drill press This is the side that's mounted. This is the side that's mounted vertically. So let's get it done This is also very very fast um, So If you can see I'm taking off very very little brass all I make my, my only my only goal is to brighten each end so that it removes any factory induced burrs during the manufacturing process. They don't do this and it's a very, very easy process to accomplish. It takes very few turns. Even if you have to turn it an entire 10 thousandths, it's only about uh, eight or 10 turns to get it done. If it takes more than that, if you feel as if the brass is hard, then it's time to anneal them. And this one here, I could tell you can see had a little bit of, it was a little higher on one side than the other. In other words, the length was tapered. I could tell just by the way it was cutting on one side more than the other. You can go through a whole batch of cases quite quickly with this. So quickly, as a matter of fact, I'm just going to keep moving right along and show you in real time. I've done as many as I've done as many as 200 cases uh, like this at a time, and it's no issue whatsoever. I can also take the handle off of this end, and I can put a uh, electric drill uh, or electric screwdriver, and uh, it's very fast. That one was longer than all the others. This is why when you get when you get new brass, you really have to uniform, uniform each of the cases by uh, resizing, resizing in the die, truing them up. That not only trues up the uh, any dents and everything, but it makes sure that your case mounts are the uh, correct. This is a very long one, also. Uh, it makes sure, and these are Starline brass. They're very, very good brass, but uh, even with the best brass, it it pays to uh, go through this simple process. After I do this, I'm going to um, weigh each of them before I chamfer them, just so I can see 
and show you what the degree of uniformity is with this particular brass. So let's step over the scale and try that out. Now I'm doing this before chamfering them because that might induce some uh, individual human error. When I chamfer them, I could be taking more brass off one than the other. So we're just going to see how uniform they are. And we are teared out, so I have uh, 189.3 grains, 188.8, 189, 189.4, 187, I'm going to put that one over here, that one's a little bit lighter. 189.8, that one's a little bit heavier. You know, I can tell you from personal experience, these are very, very 189. These are very uniform numbers. I've seen cases uh, vary as much as four and five grains when you have a case as large as a, uh, this is 189 on the button. 190, that's heavier than, heavier than the others so far, but not much. 189. One grain difference is a very, very small amount. 189.7, 189.8, 189.4, 189.5, 189.6, 189.7, 189.8, 189.9, 189.10, 189.11, 189.12, 189.13, 189.14, 189.15, 189.16, 189.17, 189.18, 189.19, 189.20, 189.21, 189.22, 189.23, 189.24, 189.25, 189.26, 189.27, 189.28, 189.29, 189.30, 189.31, 189.32, 189.33, 189.34, 189.35, 189.36, 189.37, 189.38, 189.39, 189.40, 189.41, 189.42, 189.43, 189.44, 189.45, 189.46, 189.47, 189.48, 189.49, 189.50, 189.51, 189.52, 189.53, 189.54, 189.55, 189.56, 189.57, 189.58, 189.59, 190.31, 190.32, 190.33, 190.34, 190.35, 190.36, 190.37, 190.38, 190.39, 190.40, 190.41, 190.42, 190.43, 190.44, 190.45, 190.46, 190.47, 190.48, 190.49, 190.51, 190.52, 190.53, 190.54, 190.55, 190.56, 190.57, 190.58, 190.59, 190.60, 190.61, 190.62, 190.63, 190.64, 190.65, 190.66, 190.67, 190.68, 190.69, 190.70, 190.71, 190.72, 190.73, 190.74, 190.75, 190.76, 190.77, 190.78, 190.79, 190.80, 190.81, 190.82, 190.83, 190.84, 190.85, 190.86, 190.87, 190.88, 190.89, 190.91, 190.92, 190.93, 190.94, 190.95, 190.96, 190.97, 190.98, 190.99, 190.100, 190.101, 190.102, 190.103, 190.104, 190.105, 190.106, 190.107, 190.108, 190.109, 190.110, 190.111, 190.112, 190.113, 190.114, 190.115, 190.116, 190.117, 190.118, 190.119, 190.120, 190.121, 190.122, 190.123, 190.124, 190.125, 190.126, 190.127, 190.128, 190.129, 190.130, 190.131, 190.132, 190.133, 190.134, 190.135, 190.136, 190.137, 190.138, 190.139, 190.140, 190.151, 190.152, 190.153, 190.154, 190.155, 190.156, 190.157, 190.158, 190.159, 190.160, 190.171, 190.172, 190.173, 190.174, 190.175, 190.176, 190.178, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179, 190.179,
I think it was Permatex. Polished it right up with that, and it was uh, off and running, shooting very, very accurate. So, uh, you know, this is a, this is a multi multi-purpose tool. It's, it's certainly, you know, it saved it, sa it probably saved me a hundred dollars or more uh, from having to have a gunsmith do it on a lathe. Yeah, that's the that's that's the pro way of doing it. But you know, uh, results is what counts. So this very short period of time, we've chamfered all these cases. When you hear that squeak, you're done. That that squeak, that means that you've the the brass has created uh, a, a flat spot, which is now rubbing on this cutter. You don't want to you don't want to keep digging and digging and and uh, pulling brass out of there. So that's it for now. So there you have it. Everything up to now is pretty much standard for any brass preparation. You've got to resize it, whether you neck size it, full length size it, or whatever you do, and with whatever whatever type of die you use, and you've got to trim them to length. You know, because if they're, if they're too long, they're gonna crimp, they're gonna crimp the brass around the bullet at the time of firing, and you can have disaster, disastrously high pressures. So you always have to trim them to keep them beneath the uh, maximum length which is listed. And just so you know, whatever it says in a book, whatever it if it does not say trim length, if your schematic, if your schematic says 2.540, that means the maximum length. So you want to trim it to 10 thousandths less, which is 2.530 in the case of a uh, 270. So that's imperative. That's that's a that's a must. So everything up until now had been standard and generic, and it applies to all uh, ammo. Trimming the inside of the cases of the burr from the uh, flash hole, that's something which I think I, I like to do that anyway. It's it's simple. It's fun to do. You know you you know you don't have any uh, tin can lids in there that are going to get in the way of the flash. And even if it's just standard generic uh, ammo, I like to do that. I think it does make a little bit of a difference. And I try not to buy, you know, overly cheap brass that has wide fluctuations in weight because that does give you wide swings in pressure and that changes your accuracy. So in my next video, we're going to talk about outside neck turning. It's a controversial topic. I'll never stop doing it. I don't care who tells me otherwise. It always pr provides much higher degrees of accuracy. So I'll explain all the controversies associated with it in the next video. So stay tuned. Thank you to my Patreon subscribers. I don't know what I'd do without you because you really help me out when I need to buy things to show you on these videos. Uh, it, it's, tough, it's tough in this market right now to get, to get the, any, anything uh, for a price that you can afford. So uh, I, I, I take all the help I can get. And um, if you're not subscribed to uh, my Patreon channel, please do so. And it's listed here below. And also, uh, don't forget to subscribe right now. Hit that bell so you know that I'm on. And uh, I appreciate all your support. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. God bless.